Are corded tools more powerful than the cordless ones? 25, 30 years ago, they probably were, but are they today? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll compare circular saws for cutting speed. Then we'll see which drill delivers the most torque. We'll see which reciprocating saw cuts the fastest. At a price of $170 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this Makita brand. If you buy the kit, it comes with a blade, two batteries, a charger, as well as a carrying bag. Makita's electronic brushless motor delivers 6,000 RPM. The Makita uses two 18 volt batteries for 36 volts total. The tool even includes dual battery level indicators. Cast magnesium base, blade guard, and blade cover provide lightweight, durable design. Positive bevel stops at 22 and a half, 45, and 56 degrees. Looking through the space just below the handle, you can see the blade depth indicator. The Makita saw is made in China. At a price of $99, is this corded Makita circular saw? Two built in LED lights. Includes ball bearing construction. 15 amp motor delivers 5,800 RPM for proven performance and job site durability. The cordless Makita has bevel stops, but the corded saw does not. The blade guards on both saws seem equally well constructed. The Makita saw is made in China. The cordless circular saw weighs 10.55 pounds or 4.78 kilograms. The Makita corded circular saw weighs 11.56 pounds or 5,244 grams. So the cordless circular saw with the batteries is about a pound less than the corded saw. Without a blade on the saw and fully charged batteries, the Makita topped out at 5,900 176 RPM. The no load speed on the corded saw is about 200 RPM less at 5,766. Without a blade, the corded Makita is a little bit louder at 92.4 decibels compared to 92 for the cordless. A saw that can stop the blade quickly is a very nice capability in many instances. The corded saw needs 6.43 seconds to stop the blade compared to only 0.75 seconds for the cordless. I'll be using a 7 quarter inch Diablo framing blade to test the saws. Let's kick off our first test using this tester I put together. The sides as well as the bottom of the tester are lined with rollerball bearings. I'll be using 2x4s that are 12 inches in length. The bearings are doing a great job of allowing the 2x4 to move back and forth freely. I'll attach a 5 pound weight to the test piece using a string which will pull the 2x4 under the saw. With 5 pounds of pressure, the Makita is definitely losing a little bit of blade speed. And the cordless Makita provided very consistent results on all three cuts. With 5 amp batteries, the Makita averaged 1.82 seconds to rip through the 12 inch 2x4. And the corded saw delivered very consistent cutting speeds at 1.71 seconds on average for all three passes. So the corded saw is one tenth of one second faster than the cordless. Let's add two and a half pounds for a total of 7.5 pounds. With seven and a half pounds of pressure, the Makita ripped through the two by four in 1.16 seconds. And the corded saw is one tenth of a second slower than the cordless saw this time at 1.26 seconds. Let's see if the saws can handle 10 pounds of pressure without stalling. And the Makita has plenty of power to handle 10 pounds. 0.9 seconds, very impressive. And the corded saw is one tenth of a second faster this time at 0.8 seconds. So the corded saw is the winner in the price category at less than half the cost. On the other hand, the cordless saw wins for weight, noise, and blade stop speed. So both saws cut very close to the same speed at five, seven and a half, and 10 pounds of pressure. At a price of $160 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this DeWalt brand. 800 maximum watts out. No load speed, 9,000 RPM. It includes a kick brake as well as an e-clutch. Brushless motor for increased durability and efficiency. DeWalt also has a paddle style trigger. An Allen wrench is used to change out accessories. The DeWalt is made in China. At a price of $92 is this corded DeWalt angle grinder. Low profile gear case allows for access in tight spaces. 11 amp 11,000 RPM motor designed for faster material removal. The quick change wheel release allows tool free wheel removal. The DeWalt claims it makes 1.8 horsepower. The cordless DeWalt uses a paddle style trigger and the corded has a switch on the side of the tool. The tool is made in India and the accessories are made in China. With a massive flex volt battery, the DeWalt weighs 6.8 pounds or just over three kilograms. The corded angle grinder is over a pound lighter at 5.3 pounds or 2.38 kilograms. With the flex volt battery, the DeWalt makes 7,462 RPM. The corded angle grinder is a lot faster at 10,156 RPM. RPM. For an angle grinder, the cordless DeWalt is relatively quiet at 87.7 decibels. The corded angle grinder is over 10 decibels louder at 97.9 decibels. For safety reasons, I usually don't let go of an angle grinder until the wheel comes to a stop. And the corded angle grinder needs just over 5 seconds to stop the wheel. And the cordless grinder is very fast at only 1.31 seconds. And the cordless angle grinder vibrates at around 90 millimeters per second squared. And the corded grinder has a bad case of the shakes at around 260. Let's compare the cutting speed next using this tester I put together. Every Everything moves nice and smoothly and I'll level the tools before the testing begins. I've already done quite a bit of testing and 5 pounds of pressure seems like the perfect amount for cutting through half inch rebar. The bracket holding the rebar is extremely secure preventing movement to avoid interfering with the test results. I'll be using a 4.5 inch DeWalt cutoff wheel. 
With a fully charged Flexbolt battery, the Dewalt grinder made very quick work of the rebar at 7.91 seconds. The corded angle grinder spins over 2,500 RPM faster than the cordless. And the corded grinder made the cut about 2.5 seconds faster at 5.42 seconds. Let's kick off our next test to see which angle grinder delivers the most torque. I'll be using a quarter inch grinding wheels and I'll use a new wheel with each grinder. Let's start off with 10 pounds. And the DeWalt makes plenty of torque to handle 10 pounds of force. So let's go for 15 pounds. And the DeWalt battery grinder has more than enough torque for 15 pounds of force. I just installed a new piece of rebar, so let's see how long it takes to grind through the rebar. And the DeWalt has plenty of power for 20 pounds of force, and with the Flexbolt battery, 21.86 seconds to grind through the rebar. And the corded DeWalt has more than enough torque to handle 15 pounds of force. I just installed a new piece of rebar, so let's see how long it takes to grind through the rebar. And the corded grinder made the cut in only 7 seconds compared to nearly 22 seconds for the battery powered grinder. So the corded grinder wins for the lowest price in cutting speed. However, the cordless grinder is a much more refined tool. It makes less noise, the blade stops faster, and it vibrates quite a bit less. However, with the battery included, the grinder costs around $450. At a price of $200 is this DeWalt cordless hammer drill. No load RPM 0 to 450 in first, 0 to 1300 in second, and 0 to 2000 in third. The DeWalt includes a brushless motor. Up to 42% more power with the Flexvolt batteries. The LED light has three different brightness settings. The DeWalt drill is made in China. At a price of $99 is this DeWalt half-inch corded hammer drill. Up to 3,000 RPM. Includes an 8.5 amp hour motor. Tools and accessories are made in Mexico. The battery drill has a keyless chuck and the corded drill requires a key. The battery power drill also has a couple of other features including a clutch and an LED light. And the corded drill is pretty light at 4.8 pounds or 2.2 kilograms. With the heavy flex bolt battery, the DeWalt is about 2.5 pounds heavier at 7.3 pounds or 3.3 kilograms. The battery drill is pretty loud at 89.4 decibels. The corded drill is even louder at 91.2 decibels. And the cordless DeWalt is just over 2,000 RPM rating in third gear. The slowest the DeWalt would spin without stalling is 22 RPM. The corded drill spins a lot faster at 3,060, but it doesn't offer very good low RPM control at 241. Let's see which drill can drive in three of these 5-inch lag bolts the fastest. And the battery powered drill is very fast at 1.66 seconds on the first two screws and 1.71 seconds on the third screw. So 1.68 seconds on average. And the fast spinning corded drill lost a lot of RPM on the lag bolts. And the corded drill is a little bit slower than the cordless at 1.87 seconds on average. Let's use this torque adapter to see which drill makes the most torque. 175 inch-pounds for the corded drill. In third gear, the DeWalt made 152 inch-pounds. Let's see how the battery powered drill performs in first gear. And the lower gear is making a huge difference. And the cordless drill almost drove in the 12 inch lag bolt the entire way at 502 inch pounds. Very impressive. So the corded drill wins on price at only $99 and it doesn't weigh as much compared to the cordless drill with the heavy flex bolt battery. However, the cordless drill is just a much more refined tool with an LED light, three speed gearbox, it's a little bit less noisy and it has a keyless chuck and a clutch. It also drove in the lag bolts faster and makes more than three times as much torque. Definitely a clear win for the cordless Cordless drill. Let's do a price point comparison comparing a $200 cordless against a $200 corded saw. At a price of around $200 is this Milwaukee M18 fuel. Cuts faster than corded, we're going to test that. The stroke length on the Milwaukee is 1 and 1 8 inches. The Milwaukee has a brushless motor. Adjustable shoe length. The Milwaukee saw is made in China. To test the reciprocating saw, I'll be using this M18 red lithium high output 12 amp hour battery. At around the same price as the cordless saw is this corded super sawzall. The stroke length on the cordless saw is an inch and an eighth, and the stroke length on the corded is an inch and a quarter. Made in USA with global materials. The super sawzall has two modes, orbital and inline. Quick lock blade clamp system provides fast and easy blade changes. The cordless tool weighs 10.85 pounds or 4.922 kilograms. The corded reciprocating saw weighs 9.855 pounds or 4.47 kilograms. So the corded tool weighs about a pound less than the cordless. And it takes 1.36 seconds for the blade to come to a stop on the corded saw. And the cordless saw has much better brakes at 0.2 seconds. And the cordless saw is pretty loud at 92.5 decibels. The corded saw is a lot louder at 99.3 decibels. To test the reciprocating saws, I'll be using these Linux demolition fire and rescue blades. Let's test cutting speed by cutting through pressure treated 4x4s with four embedded 16 penny nails beginning with 10 pounds of weight. Let's see how fast the corded saw cuts in inline mode. And the corded saw made very quick work at 6.79 seconds. Switching to the orbital mode. And the corded saw is about a second faster at 5.82 seconds in orbital mode. Orbital mode is faster, so let's see if the saw can cut even faster with 15 pounds of weight. And the corded saw is a little faster at 5.21 seconds, but that's less than a second faster. Let's try 20.
Wood chip removal seems to be a problem at 20 pounds and the saw is a little bit slower at 5.77 seconds. The battery in the cordless saw is fully charged. And the heavier cordless saw is actually cutting quite a bit slower. The shorter stroke length is really hurting the cutting speed. 19.82 seconds. Let's test with 15 pounds. And the extra weight helped a little, but 17.74 seconds isn't nearly as fast as the corded saw. Let's try 20. And a battery powered saw is about the same speed with 20 pounds, 17.44 seconds. A price point comparison shows that dollar for dollar, the corded saw is a lot faster. I've owned this 12 amp Milwaukee corded saw for about five years. Just like the cordless saw, this one has the same stroke length. I'm just gonna start at 20 pounds and see how it performs. And a corded saw is just a little bit faster than the battery saw at 16.22 seconds. So very close to the same speed. Comparing the $200 saws, the corded saw cuts a lot faster and weighs a little bit less. The battery saw makes a little bit less noise and has a superior blade stop speed. At a price of $99 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is this rigid brand. 3.2 degree angle for faster cutting. Variable speed dial provides ultimate control in a variety of applications. The rigid is made in China. At a price of $120 or $20 more than the cordless tool is this rigid oscillating multi-tool. Powerful motor delivers up to 20,000 oscillations per minute. Two finger variable speed trigger. Hex grip micro texture for added user comfort. LED lights. The rigid brand is made in Vietnam. The cordless oscillating multi-tool weighs 3.765 pounds or 1.7 kilograms. The corded multi-tool weighs 3.39 pounds or 1.53 kilograms. So the corded oscillating multi-tool is just a little bit lighter than the cordless. The cordless tool makes a lot less noise at 78.3 decibels compared to 85.6 for the corded tool. The cordless tool vibrates a lot less at 6 millimeters per second squared compared to 35 for the corded tool. The Imperial blades we'll be using have carbide teeth and are designed to cut through wooden screws. Let's compare performance cutting through half inch OSB with 5 pounds of force. And the cordless tool with the high output 4 amp hour battery made the plunge cut in 15.2 seconds. Let's add 2.5 pounds of weight to see if that helps. And the extra 2.5 pounds really helped quite a bit, 10.2 seconds. Moving up to 10 pounds. And the extra weight actually hurt the performance of the tool, 15.1 seconds. So 7.5 pounds seems like the right amount of pressure. And the corded multi-tool isn't nearly as fast as the cordless. 20.8 seconds to make the cut with 5 pounds of pressure. At 7.5 pounds, the extra force helped the corded tool make the cut quite a bit faster, 14.4 seconds. And 10 pounds of pressure helped the corded tool perform even better, 12.2 seconds. Cutting through nails is less about torque and more about blade speed. With 5 pounds of force, the cordless tool needed 34.8 seconds to cut through four 16-penny nails. And the cordless tool isn't quite as fast as a corded multi-tool. And a corded tool cut through the four nails in 29.7 seconds. Without including the cost of the battery, the cordless tool is less expensive, makes less noise, and vibrates less. On the other hand, the corded tool weighs a little bit less. Cutting speed seems to be pretty close depending on the type of material that's being cut. So the big takeaways for me are the cordless tools typically cost more. They aren't as noisy, they vibrate less, and it takes less time for the tool to come to a stop. As far as work efficiency, corded tools with 10 amp motors are larger like the circular saw, angle grinder, and both corded reciprocating saws are just as fast or faster than battery tools. Without having a three-speed transmission, the corded drill just couldn't compete with the battery drill. I really don't mind having tools tethered to a power cord when I'm working inside the shop, However, if it's just a small project or something away from the shop, I really like cordless power tools. They've come a long ways as far as efficiency and performance. All the videos in this channel are viewer suggested, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.